here on Patreon Hill. The list is already in the shade of the trees. Still a few beams of sunlight coming through the coming through the leaves on the trees. As we head into the first round of Poland versus Mexico. Now can Mexico get the upset here? Or will Poland take the victory that most of the people are here around ex are expecting? And those Mexicans are a tough bunch, I can tell you that. And why was the list left open there? And the Mexicans. Stop. And the fight is stopped, I think, or is it? One Mexican going up against one Polish fighter. I can see another Polish fighter still on his feet on the Mexican side of the list. A very close fight there. Will we see the Mexican upset or will the Polish take the victory? And now he trips him over his dropped opponent. And that's the 1-0 victory for Poland. Poland 1, Mexico 0. Rozhodl úder hlavou, který skolil Mexičana k zemi. from Polish team gets yellow card for beating, for, for beating on the knee. And a yellow card for one of the Polish fighters for a strike to the back of the knee. One of the most dangerous things you can do in this sport because the back of the knee is one of the areas that, that are hardly covered. Arnold Podirny has a yellow card for a beat in the back side of the knee. It's one of the areas of the body that's hard to, hard to defend, hard to cover with armor. And I can see now a couple of Russian fighters around the medical area talking to their injured comrade. And here we go, Mexico versus Poland. Round number two, and a Mexican fighter quickly dropped there. And he's been brutalized now by two Polish fighters in the corner and I only see one Mexican fighter still standing and the fight is over 4-0 victory for Poland in round number two a much more comprehensive win than in the first round And if I understand the gestures right, then the Mexican, uh, pardon me, the injured Russian fighter has probably suffered a wrist injury going by the gestures that I can see down there at the medical center.
And if you have spotted a Mexican fighter with some blue cloth on his arm in the fight, then that's a token from his fiancée. That should bring him luck. Not enough luck, unfortunately, to beat the Polish. Italy 1, Czech Republic 2, please come to the list. Italy 1, Czech Republic 2, please come to the list. And I can see the Mexican fighter, uh, pardon me, why am I saying Mexican? The Russian fighter walking away from the medical center now with his arm in a sling. But other than that, he seems to be all right. And now here comes the Czech team. The Czech national team taking the field once more against the Italian opponents. Igor Olegersky from Polish team gets yellow card for breaking out the arm. And one of the Polish fighters has now received a yellow card for a submission lock for, a, for an arm lock against the rules. Keep in mind, holding a joint like arm or, or a leg against the natural movement uh, movement, motion direction of that joint is illegal. And we are on the way with Czech Republic versus Italy. Ah, and a good takedown by the Czech fighter. And he'll now try to come to the aid. Oh, what a shot to the back of the head of the Italian fighter. And a veritable cluster forming now in the lower corner of the field. With one Italian and one Czech fighter just swinging away at each other on the other side of the list. Just look at those punches with a shield. Trying to go for the takedown now. And one of the Czech fighters now coming to the aid of his teammate and the Italian fighter catching up. Look at him just chopping him down. Two Czech fighters, three Italian. Outnumbered now. Oh, what a hard shot. And the Italian is out under the barrier. That thus he's out of the fight. So it's two against two now. And one against one, that's where we stand. And just look at the crowd chanting. And one of the Italian fighters trying to grab a hold of the Czech fighter. And that's a win for Italy. 1-0. Czech Republic 0, Italy wins. 
Australia 1, France 2. Please prepare for the next fight. Australia 1, France 2. Please prepare for the next fight. Tak Češi ještě budou potřebovat podporu v kole druhém. Ano, ještě nic není ztraceno. Jede se na dvě kola, takže se klidně ještě může stát, že tento zápas otočí. Ano, Češi můžou něco s tím nepříznivým skóre něco udělat, tak je pojďme podpořit protítelů. Češi! Češi! Czech Republic ready, Italy ready for round number two. Czech Republic in red and blue, Italy in plain blue, and there's something still lying around there. And here we go, Czech Republic versus Italy, round number two. Italy have won the first round, 1-0. Oh, and a hard shot into the berry on the Czech fighter there. And a good shot to the back of the Italian fighter as they clinch up against the barrier now. Bad shots to the leg. Trying to try to hit his legs out under him there. Ah. That looks that's a massive clinch up there by the fence. Look at the good knees. Ah, uh, the Czech fighter seems to be KO but still standing. That's all I can say about him. He looks absolutely flattened. But it's not like his Italian opponent could do any more than he's already doing. And the Italian going down, and it's two against one now. Now what's he going to do? He's got to try and get a trip takedown. But of course, when you're up against the fence, the, big, the biggest advantage the Italian fighter has now, he's only attackable from one side, and that side is being blocked by the Czech fighter clinching him. So hard for the other Czech fighter now to get a grip of him. And there he gets the takedown. To the delight of the home crowd. So Italy and the Czech Republic go to a third and decisive round in their fight. The Czech fighters getting fired up before the last round. 
And so are their Italian opponents. And here we go. Round number three, Czech Republic versus Italy in front of the Czech crowd here. And a quick takedown on one of the Italian fighters. And I'm afraid he seems to be injured. Yes, he's signaling he's injured. And I think we have an injury. And now that we have an interruption, can someone please interrupt the fight? And that's the end. That's the end to the fight. One nil victory for the Czech Republic. And now the Italian fighter can finally be taken care of. I don't understand why the fight has not been interrupted for the treatment of the injured Italian fighter. He's still on the ground and he's signaling towards his left shoulder. Italy one, check one. Uh, Italy zero, check one. And now I'm afraid we're going to need the medics on site. Australia 1, France 2, please. And here come the medics. People, pre please create space for the medics to take care of the injured fighter. He was signaling towards his left side, towards his left shoulder or arm, I cannot really tell. But I'm afraid he might have might have fallen onto his shoulder because he, he, he went to the ground and then after he landed on the ground he started signaling towards his shoulder. And he's being taken care of now. It was quite a difficult fight. Uh, you won, though, yeah? What helped you to, wa to win? Uh, I don't know really what, what happened, but it, it was a really hard fight for us. Uh, it was team uh, who's uh, we fight in last battle of nation, and we have trouble this team. Uh, I think uh, last year we have uh, free, free remise with this team, and now, uh, now it this win this fight. It will be one, uh, one chance to uh, get to the other level of this tournament. So we've, we've, we are very, uh, very, uh, very happy that uh, we win this. And I think that's all what I should say. Thank you very much. We wish your team to win. Win white. Australia Number one, eight. France two. Now the Italian fighter is off the list. So we can get going with Australia. The Australian fighter.